Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you have a great day. We've been quite some time in Hanoi now, also during the lockdown, which is now over. And as we stay longer in the country, our hunger for non-local food grows. Luckily for us, Hanoi has an amazing selection of all kinds of restaurants, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Italian, French, you name it, they have it. Today we are visiting Pizza for Peace, a Vietnamese-based Japanese-Italian restaurant serving mostly pasta and pizza. They have restaurants in Hanoi and Saigon and a few in central Vietnam. While their pasta dishes might be tame when it comes to mixing the different national cuisines, the fusion is fully unleashed on the pizzas. Miso cream, sashimi, Japanese ginger pork and lotus root are only a few of the possible toppings. Now, if you are a purist, fear not, the Italian classics are covered with your typical margarita, salami and parma ham pies. The restaurant also prides itself on its homemade cheese. Produced close in Dalat, which is a city in Vietnam, this mozzarella is formed into a burrata, which is added to the signature pizzas and salads. So while you can watch how our pizzas are prepared, I'm gonna tell you what we ordered. They offer all the pizzas as half and half, and so we are actually gonna taste four different pizzas today. The first pizza will have one half salmon miso cream, and the other half will be salmon sashimi. We are big lovers of salmon, so we swear are no brainer. For the second pizza, we decided to go with classics. One half is gonna be topped with tomatoes and anchovies, while the other half will have parma ham and some rocket. The second pizza will also have two burrattas. Now, burrata is basically a mozzarella cheese, which is then filled with cream. Let's try this first bad boy. So this is the miso salmon pizza. Let's check it out. Mm. Mm. This tastes really amazing. So the salmon, it has a really tender taste. I'm not sure if I really can taste the miso, uh, but I can taste the onions. It is an amazing combination. Everything goes really well together. Okay, let's go for this shimmy one. So this one has some sauce underneath. I'm not sure what it is exactly. And then there's a piece of salmon on top. Let's check this out. So the sauce actually has, yeah, I think it has a little bit of taste of carpan. I'm not sure what the English word is. I'm gonna blend in the word here. And it really complements the salmon really good. Mm. Wow. So this is the Parma ham one, basically a classic pizza, classic Italian more or less. And the frucola, I think this is actually one of the, my favorite pizzas. Like, I mean, normally it doesn't go with mozzarella, but yeah, whatever. Let's check it out. This is a classic combination of um, nutty parma ham, fresh frucola, fresh tomatoes. But yeah, here you get the added mozzarella. And this makes it a little bit heavier, a little bit creamier, way more filling. But yeah, this is a tried and true combo and it's amazing here. Okay, so this is the anchovy one, and as you can see, there's, there's some mozzarella cheese on it. 
So it's basically the classic Italian one, you know, fresh tomatoes, you have know, this awesome mozzarella and the anchovies, which give it a little bit of salty kick. And the mozzarella is amazing. It's very creamy, also very heavy, actually. I think like this pizza compared to the salmon ones, it's gonna fill us up. Hey guys, I hope you liked this episode. What do you think about the Italian-Japanese pizza combo? Write to me in the comment. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Follow us on our journey by subscribing and ringing the bell. Also, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up.